and let your eyes close down. We get to share the wonderful experience now of feeling the sun on our faces and our hands. Feeling our breath flowing in and flowing out. And as we often do in these outdoor classes, just begin to feel into what's around you. Allow yourself to deepen the experience of just sitting on your mat in the open in nature. And then when you're ready, come to your breath and begin to feel the breath flowing in and flowing out. If you like, give thanks for the breath and for your ability to breathe in and breathe out in whatever way you are this morning. For some of you, breathing in and breathing out may be really easy and soft and gentle. For others, it may be more difficult. Whatever it is, just enjoy the experience. Just a couple more breaths. And let your eyes open, reach your arms up and overhead. Bring the palms together, interlace the fingers, stretch the palms towards the sky, press the sitting bones down. Stretch up even more, maybe look up towards the hands. Take a deep breath and then as you exhale, bring your arms out to a T. Take a gentle twist to the left and then inhale back to center and let your arms float high. Exhale the hands to heart center, press the palms together, bring your chin to your chest, draw your navel in, round the spine forward. Bring the forehead down towards the mat. On an inhale, slowly rise back up, reach the arms high and out to a T. Take your twist to the right this time. Inhale back to center. Arms reach high, exhale the hands to heart center. Send, second time rounding forward, chin to chest, draw your navel in. Bring your forehead down towards the mat. Maybe feel a stretch in the low back as you do that. And then inhale and rise back up. Reach the arms high, then exhale. Bring the hands behind you this time. Interlace the fingers, straighten the elbows, press your knuckles towards the back of your mat. Feel a big deep opening in the chest. Breathe into that space. Now bring the hands down towards the mat. Some of you will be able to bring your hands all the way to the mat. On an inhale, lift your chin up. And then as you exhale, lean forward so the weight comes off the hands and then lean forward, hinging at the hips. Reach the knuckles up and overhead. Feel the stretch in the shoulders. Inhale and slowly rise. And then release the hands, reach them high and out to a T. Palms face down, right hand down, left hand reaches up and over, stretch it out. Inhale and rise. And left hand down, right hand reaches up and over. And again, right hand down, reaching to the left. And inhale and rise, left hand down. This is our second time through. We're going to do three, rise, right hand down, left hand reaches, stretch it out. And inhale and up. Left hand down, right hand reaching. Inhale and rise. Reach up high, interlace the fingers. Press the palms towards the sky. Look up towards the hands. Now keep the fingers interlaced and slowly bring the hands down towards the mat. And then eventually press the palms into the mat. Lean forward a little bit, then bend the elbows. Keep your spine long, so you'll probably feel a stretch in the back, maybe the hips and then press through the palms, straightening the elbows, then release the hands, and then let's come to table pose. Once you're in table pose, inhale to cow, and then exhale to cat, and inhale to cow, 
and exhale to cat. Just continue flowing between cow and cat. And three more times, total of five. Keep it going, inhaling to cow and exhaling to cat. And one more time through, inhale to cow and exhale to cat. Now come back to a neutral spine, reach the left hand forward, the right foot reaches back, press through the right heel, reach through the fingertips of the left hand. Keep it going. Feel the core engage. Feel the warmth coming into your body as you engage. Deep engagement in the core. Now bring elbow towards knee, round the spine, and then reach back out. Do that again, elbow towards knee, and then reach back out. And elbow towards knee, and reach back out one more time. We're doing five on each side, elbow towards knee, and then stretch it out. Now bring the hand down, rotate the toes on the right foot so they point to the right, bend the right knee and bring it forward. Keep pressing both hands into the mat. Press back through the right heel and then rotate the toes so they point down. Bring the right knee down. Press the hips to the right and then press the hips to the left. And to the right and to the left. One more time on each side, to the right and then to the left and then bring it back to center. Reach the right hand forward now. Press back through the left heel. You can point the toes on that left foot now if you like. Lots of length in the whole way from the fingertips through the uh, heel or the toes on that left foot. Thumb pointing up on the right hand. Good job. Keep reaching. Lots of length. Do you feel the warmth? Good. Now bring elbow towards knee. Round the spine and reach back out. Slow fluid movement a second time, elbow towards knee, and then stretch it out three more times, elbow towards knee, and reach out, slow it down a little, elbow towards knee, and then stretch it out one more, elbow towards knee, and stretch it out, and then bring the right hand down, press through the left heel, then rotate the toes on the left foot so they point to the left. And now rotate the toes so they point down. Back to table pose. Press the hips to the left this time. And then to the right. And then to the left. And to the right. Last one left. And last one on the right. And then back to center. Bring your hands forward. So walk the hands forward about one hand length. Try and keep your hips over your knees still. Now glide your hips forward and down. Gaze forward so the gaze is level. Press into the hand so the elbows are straight. Let your chest press forward. Now keep pressing the hands into the mat. Lift your navel up towards the cloudless sky and then press the tailbone back towards the heels. Feel the stretch in the armpits, the shoulders, and the back. Now glide it all forward. Lift your gaze and then press back. Keep it going. Three more times through. Deepen the back bend a little bit. Good job. Twice more. You know, it's not as cool out here as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be cold. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll be complaining about the heat. One more time through. It's so hot. How is this possible? And then back to a neutral spine. Back to table pose. Bring the hands back just a little bit in front of the shoulders and then tuck your toes and lift your hips. And let's find our very first downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal it out now. Bend one knee and then the other knee. And we're gonna take about five breaths. Work here on lengthening your spine. And what I mean by that is reach your tailbone up and back. Let your chest drop down. Let your head drop down. Good, now find stillness in downward facing dog. On an inhale, reach your right leg up and then step the right foot all the way forward so it comes between the hands in runner's lunge. And then step your left foot forward to meet it. Standing forward fold. Let your head drop down in the standing forward fold. 
take opposite elbows, press the elbows down towards the big toes. Bend your knees a little bit, particularly if you're feeling a huge stretch in the back of the legs. So if it's too much in the hamstrings and the glutes, bend the knees even more. What I want you to be able to do here is to rest your upper body on your thighs. And maybe that requires that you bend your knees even more. Now release opposite elbows. Bring your arms out to a T. Press into the front of the feet and bring your weight forward a little bit so your heels begin to float. Now slowly begin to rise. Come up nice and slow. I feel that in my glutes. And then let your arms float high. Look up and bring the palms together and then pull them down to heart center. On an inhale, reach back up. Now the arms out to a T. Come down halfway only. Bring the feet so they're about hip width apart. Bend the right knee, bring the right hand down. Reach the left hand up in a standing twist. Reach up a little bit higher with that left hand so the left shoulder is over the right shoulder. And now the arms come back out to a T. Both legs are straight. We're gonna twist to the other side. Left knee bends, left hand down, right hand high. Spine is long. Bring a little bit more weight back into that left foot. And now out to a T with the arms, legs are straight. And slowly rise back up, reverse swan dive. Palms together overhead, look up. And then exhale and bring the hands to heart center. Leave them there as you hinge at the hips and fold forward. Now come to a half lift. Either hands at the top of the shins or if you're more flexible, you can bring your hands all the way down to the mat. Either way, lengthen your spine, and then exhale, fold forward, and let your head drop down. Leave the left foot forward, step the right foot back into runner's lunge, and step the left foot back into plank pose. Take a deep breath in plank. And then as you exhale, bring your knees to the mat. Chest and chin follows. We're coming into cobra pose. Lift your heart up off the mat in cobra pose. Elbows bent, tucked in close to the body. So try not to flare the elbows. Pull them back in. One more breath and then release. Tuck your toes now, push to plank, and then lift your hips into downward facing dog. Press the hands into the mat. Reach your tailbone up and back. Feel that great stretch in the back of the legs. On an inhale, come up on the toes and keep reaching the tailbone up and back. Keep pressing your hands into the mat. As you exhale, press the heels down towards the mat. Good job. Do that again. Inhale, rising, feet, lifting the heels off the mat. Exhale, press the heels down. One more time. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, press the heels down. On an inhale, reach your left leg high. Step the left foot forward so it comes between the hands. And then step the right foot forward to meet it, standing forward fold. Take opposite elbows. Press the elbows down towards the big toes. Do yourself a favor and let go of the neck muscles. Just let your head get really heavy. See if you can bring the weight into the front of the feet a little bit more. Now keep opposite elbows. Keep your weight in the front of the feet and then slowly rise. Keep your spine long. Try not to round as you come up. That'll deeply engage the abdominal muscles. Then reach the elbows high so you feel a stretch in the armpits. Anybody feel that in the armpits? Now reach the elbows up even more and then back and lift your gaze up towards, again, our cloudless sky. And I have a gorgeous view of Mount Evans too from where I am. Now release and swan dive forward fold. Come to a half lift. Exhale the hands down to the mat. Right foot forward, left foot back, runner's lunge. Press or bring the left knee to the mat, untuck the toes on the left foot. Press into the right foot and rise to a low crescent lunge. Mm, press that right knee forward, reach up through the wrists, stretch it up. Now bring the hands behind you, interlace your fingers, straighten your elbows, press the knuckles towards the left heel, look up. Breathe. Two more. Now release the hands, and then bring them out to a T. Take a twist to the right. Bring the left elbow to the right knee. The palms come together. Whichever side you want, Barbara. Left, right. As long as you do the other side eventually. Let's come out of it by reaching the right hand back, the left hand forward, the palms face to the right, and then back to center. Reach up high. 
and exhale the hands down. Tuck the toes, the left knee comes off the mat, step the right foot back to plank pose. Take a breath. <sighs> And one more big, deep breath. On the exhale, knees come to the mat. Chest and chin are going to follow as we come into cobra pose. Mm. Now look to your left. And back to center and look to the right. And back to center and look to the left. And back to center and look to the right. Back to center. Now release down. Tuck your toes. Push to plank. And then lift your hips. Finding downward facing dog. Stretch it out, pressing the heels down towards the mat. On an inhale, left leg rises, and then step the left foot forward so it comes between the hands. Bring the right knee to the mat, untuck the toes on the right foot, press in the left foot and rise. Now bring the hands behind you, interlace in the awkward way this time, using the non-dominant grip. Press the knuckles towards the right heel. You feel the shoulder blades coming together on your back. Feel the expansiveness at the top of the chest. Breathe into that space. On the exhale, lift your chin. The sky is still mostly cloudless. Nothing's changed in the last uh, two minutes. Now level the chin, reach the arms high, and then out to a T. Take your twist to the uh, left this time, right about the left knee, the palms come together. Keep pressing that right knee forward. Come out by reaching the left hand back. Right hand reaches forward. Palms face to the left. And back to center. Reach up high. And exhale the hands down on either side of the left foot. Now tuck your toes. Right knee comes off the mat. Now step the right foot forward to meet the left foot. Standing forward, fold. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Do that again, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Keep the weight in the front of the feet. Bring your arms out to a T. Press into the front of the feet as you rise. Come all the way up. Reach up high and look up. And then exhale and bring your hands to heart center. Whew. Let your eyes close down. Just breathe. Whew. Maybe feeling a little love and appreciation for being able to be in this spot on this gorgeous, gorgeous morning. What a privilege. Mm. You can open your eyes now. Leave your hands at heart center. Let's find a tree pose. Wait in the right foot. Pick the left foot up. Sole the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. How's your balancing poses been? Or how have they been? Yeah, I know. It happens. Balance takes practice. It also takes building up the muscles that are supporting us in the balance. So in this case, the ankles and all the way up to the outside of the thigh, those muscles. Practice every day. And if you can't get your foot all the way up to the top of your thigh, maybe foot on the lower part of the leg. And if that doesn't feel sturdy, then practice with the ankle or the heel on the ankle and the big toe on the mat. Open your knee a little bit more to the left. Release the left foot now. Let's find standing figure four. Yeah, more balancing poses. Ankle to knee. Press the palms together to identify the center line of the body. Then bend the right knee. Come down as far as you're able to. Now bring your arms out to a T with the palms facing down. Reach that left foot, left foot straight back. Now we're going to find half moon pose. Bring the right hand down. Left hand reaches up. Toes on that left foot point to the left. Try and keep the weight evenly distributed on that right foot. If you notice that you're pivoting on the right foot, it's because your weight is either in the heels or the toes. Don't beat yourself up. Good job. Left hand down, standing splits. Lift that left leg up in the sky. Bend the right knee. 
Let your head drop down. Maybe feel your forehead coming closer to the shin on that left leg. You guys are awesome. Bend the right knee. Step way back with the left foot into runner's lunge. If you need to, reorient yourself on your mat. Pause in runner's lunge. Now lizard pose. Bring the elbows down to the mat if you can. If not, stay up on the hands, but bend your elbows as much as you can. Let your chest come down and untuck the toes, bring the left knee to the mat. That'll make the pose more accessible. Now see if you can hug that right knee in a little bit more towards the right shoulder. Let your hips drop down. Just settle into the pose. Two more breaths. And one more. Good, now walk back up onto the hands, tuck the toes and bring the right knee off the mat and then step the right foot back to plank pose. Three breaths now, breathe in deeply and a big exhale, let it go. <sighs> Do that again, a big deep breath <sighs> and let it go. One more time, big deep breath <sighs> and exhale, let it go. Now flow through vinyasa, either knees, chest, chin or chaturanga into upward facing dog. Knees off the mat if you can, pressing into the top of the feet. The navel is pressing forward. The shoulder blades are coming a little closer together on the back. And then when you're ready, tuck your toes and let your hips rise, downward facing dog. Whew. Now bend the knees. From there, take a big hop forward so the feet end up eventually between your hands. Bend the knees and let's rise to chair pose. Weight in the heels, feet roughly parallel to one another. So for some of you, it'll feel most comfortable to have your feet about hip width apart. Others like to have the feet together and the knees touching, the inside of the knees. Now hands to heart center. Let's take a chair twist, left elbow to right knee, the right elbow reaches high. Working here on stacking the right elbow over the palms and the palms over the left elbow. Good job. Now back to center and over to the other side, right elbow to left knee. Notice if that right knee wants to creep forward a little bit. If that's happening, it's pulling your hips out of alignment. So just bring the knees back so they're even. And back to center. Back to chair pose, reach up high. And then straighten the legs and bring your hands back to heart center. Take a breath. You can let your eyes close if you like. Whew. Thought I forgot the other side of the uh, balancing poses, huh? Not a chance. Left foot down, right foot rises. We're gonna find tree pose. That's getting warm, isn't it? I may have to shed a layer. Yeah, that won't work. Settle into tree pose. Feel the balance. Feel the beautiful balance. Maybe open your right knee a little bit more to the right. Release that and let's find standing figure four. Right ankle to left knee, palms together. Then bend the left knee. Maybe bring that right elbow down towards the right knee, left elbow towards instep of the right foot. See if you can bend your knee just a little bit more, challenging the muscles in that left leg. Now bring the arms out to a T, release the right ankle and press the right foot straight back. Now half moon pose, left hand comes down. Keep the weight in the whole left foot the ball of the foot and the heels, and then move slowly into half moon pose, opening the hips so that the right hip stacks over the left, press back through the right heel, toes on the right foot pointing to the right, if that works for you. Beautiful, right hand comes down, standing splits now, reach the left leg high, or sorry, the right leg high. Maybe bend the left knee a little bit if you like. Can you let your head get heavier and let your forehead come closer to the shin of that left leg? 
Now bend the left knee, step way back with the right foot, runner's lunge. And the left foot steps back to plank pose. Take a deep breath and let it go. Do that twice more, a big deep breath and let it go. One more time, breathe in deeply. And exhale, flow through a vinyasa now. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga into upward facing dog. Breathe deeply in upward dog. And then as you exhale, bring your knees to the mat. Up, fooled you. Knees to the mat. Bring the knees apart. Child's pose. Big toes touch if you can. Hips pressing down towards the heels. Couple of breaths. Mm. You feel the warmth of the sun or the coolness of the shade, depending on where you are. Or maybe the heat in your house, for those of you online, if you're not outside. Let's rise from child's pose to table pose. Then bring the knees so they're hip width apart. Rise up to kneeling. Reach arms high, then bring the hands behind you, little baby camel pose, press the hands into the low back, and then lift your gaze up, bring the elbows together, press your chest up towards the sky, that's how you create the back bend, keep pressing the hips forward, now keep pressing into the low back as you slowly rise, and then once you're up, reach your arms high, and then to heart center, press the palms together. Bring the right leg out, toes on the right foot pointing straight forward. We haven't done this in a while. This is called um, gate pose. Parigasana is the name of the pose in Sanskrit. Right hand down, press into that left knee and then reach the left hand up and over. Draw your navel in so that you're not creating too much of an arch in the low back. And then inhale, rise back up. Bring the arms out to a T. We haven't done this in a while either. Press through the heels of the hands, fingers pointing up, fingers together more or less. Begin to feel a little tingling in the fingertips. And then slowly bring your left hand down. We're gonna to move towards a supported side plank. Reach with the right hand. And if you want to, you can pick your left foot up and bring it to the top of the right foot for an unsupported version of plank pose. We're gonna be here two more breaths. Reach with the right hand. And one more breath. Now reach the right hand back up. Bring the left knee back down if you lifted it up. And slowly rise back up. And then one more gate pose on this side. Reach up and over with that left hand. Feel the stretch on the left side of the body. And then rise. Bring your hands to heart center. And bring the right knee down so it meets the left knee. Let your hips drop to your heels. I'll turn this way. Palms on thighs. This is hero pose. Breathe. And one more good breath. Let's rise to kneeling. We're going to do a second camel pose. This time, if you like, you can do, um, you can do a full camel pose. But if you want, Baby camel is perfectly good, a wonderful pose. Either way, three breaths now in camel pose. I feel the sun on my face, it feels wonderful. I love the warmth. One more breath. And slowly come up. Palms on thighs, let your hips drop your heels. Ah, <sighs> hero pose. Let it all go. Let's rise up to kneeling. And bring the left leg out this time. Toes on that left foot pointing straight forward. Try and anchor into the pinky toe of the left foot. Reach the arms high. Now hands come, or left hand comes down the outside of the leg. Reach up through the right hand. And then pull the right hand up and over. So you feel that stretch on the right side body. You can let that left hand walk down the leg a little if you want, if that feels okay. Then on an inhale, slowly rise, the core is engaged, and then bring your right hand down. Oops, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to press through the heels of the hands. Let's do that. 
I'm out of practice, obviously. Press through the heels of the hands, fingertips pointing up. Do you feel the tingling in the fingertips? Anybody? Yes? yes? Sure. Press even more than that. Mm. And now bring the right hand down. Reach the left hand over. Press in that left foot. If you want, you can pick the right foot up, coming into a full side plank. That is 100% optional. Just what you want to do in your practice. Release the knee. Left hand reaches back up and then slowly come back up. Gate pose, second time on this side, reach up and over with the right hand, and then release. Hands to heart center, bring the left knee down so it meets the right knee. Let's come to a table pose and then tuck your toes, lift your hips, and let's find downward facing dog. Three breaths now in downward dog as you press your tailbone towards, I guess it's really just the sky behind you unless you're indoors and then it's the wall, the top of the wall behind you. Three more deep breaths. <sighs> and one more, actually two more. <sighs> and one more. <sighs> now glide forward to plank. Flow through a vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And when you are ready, downward facing dog. On an inhale, right leg rises, lift the right leg high. <clears throat> Step the right foot forward, bringing it between the hands. Leave your left hand on the mat, reach your right hand up, lunge twists. See if you can scoot the left hand a little closer to the right foot. Press the palm into the mat of that left hand. Now bring the right hand down inside the right foot, reach the right hand high. This is our revolved lunge twist. Still up on the ball of that back foot. Now spin the left heel to the mat and let's rise to warrior two. Our very first warrior two. Whew. Relax. Just let it fly, it's okay. Extended side angle pose. Press into the pinky toe of the left foot and then reach through the fingertip of the left hand so you feel a stretch coming into the whole left side body. A little bit more. Keep the right knee bent and rise to reverse warrior pose. Left hand comes down, the right knee still bent, and then reach up and back with that right hand. Press your right knee forward a little more. Now straighten the right leg. This is reverse triangle pose. Now you can reach back even more with the right hand. Now arms come out to a T. Press into the left foot, reach the right hand forward. And you got it, triangle pose. Two more breaths. One more. Now right knee bends, rise back to warrior two. <sighs> the sounds of airplanes overhead. Miss that. Cartwheel your hands down on either side of your right foot. Come up onto the ball, the left foot, and step the right foot back to plank pose. Now flow through a vinyasa, upward facing dog. And when you're ready, downward facing dog. Now on an inhale, lift the left leg up and then step the left foot forward so it comes between the hands. Move the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Untuck the toes and bring the right knee to the mat. Lizard pose, I owe you a lizard pose on this side. Let your hips drop down, head still reaching forward. Two more breaths. You feel the hip opening on the left side. Maybe feel that great stretch at the top of the right leg. Those are the hip flexor muscles. Let's release from that, walking back up onto the hands. Tuck the toes, bring the right knee off the mat. We're back to runner's lunge. Bring the left hand to the outside of the foot. Now step the left foot back to plank pose and flow through a vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Upward facing dog. <sighs> and when you're ready, downward facing dog. Now inhale, reach the left leg high. 
a little higher. Press the right heel down at the same time. Now step your left foot forward so it comes between the hands and the right hand stays down, the left hand reaches up. Lunge twist. Now the left hand comes down inside that left foot, right hand reaches high. This is our revolved lunge twist. And now spin the right heel to the mat and rise to warrior two. Hmm. Relax a little. Some of you look sort of tense in warrior two. Just relax. Extended side angle pose. Elbow to knee, reaching with the right hand. Press that left knee forward a little bit more. Anchor into the pinky toe of that back foot. Now with the left knee still pressing forward, rise to our reverse warrior pose. Keep pressing the left knee forward. Now straighten the left leg, reverse triangle pose. Press into the whole left foot. Now arms out to a T and let's find triangle pose. Press into the back foot, left hand comes down, right hand reaches high. Two more breaths. And one more. Now bend the left knee and rise. Warrior two. Whew, settle into it. Who knew it would be so warm this morning? Now cartwheel your hands down on either side of the left foot. And left foot steps back to plank pose. Flow through vinyasa, either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, your choice. Upward facing dog. And then when you're ready, downward facing dog. Now knees come to the mat, bring them apart, big toes touch, child's pose. Let your forehead rest on the mat. Keep breathing deeply. One more breath. Rise from child's pose. Come to table pose. Now tuck your toes and lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Now bend the knees. Take a hop so the feet end up eventually between the hands. Let your head drop down, standing forward fold. Now keep your chin on your chest and round your spine as you rise. It'll help to draw your navel up towards the sky as you come up. Then let your arms float high and exhale, bringing the hands to heart center. Whew. How's everybody doing? Does anybody have any idea what time it is? All right. Thank you. Thanks for your support. <laughs> Leave the right foot forward, three quarters step back with the left foot. Then square the hips to the front of the mat. Now I know we've been doing this virtually and I suspect that many of you have been doing this, having your hips open to the side of the mat. And now I can actually see what you're doing so I can enforce this. Hips face forward, folks. That means maybe that left foot needs to come over to the left a little bit more, or even more. Or e that's good. Now pivot on the uh, left heel so the toes point this way. Pivot on the heel. No, the heel, not the ball. There you go. Now bend the right knee. Warrior one. Shoulder square to the front of the mat and warrior one. Hip square to the front of the mat. Bring the hands behind you. We're going to do another back bend and interlace the fingers. We're going to open up the chest at the same time. Lift your chin up. Look towards. Wow, supersonic uh, aircraft up there, leaving Contrail. Now level your chin. Keep the spine long. Hinge at that right hip. Bring your right shoulder down towards the right knee. Reach the knuckle. Let your head drop down. Now press into the right foot and rise. And then release the hands. Reach them up. 
straighten the right leg. Resquare the hips towards the front of the mat. So pull your left hip forward a little bit. Pull that right hip back. Hinge at the hips. Reach through the fingertips. Try and keep your biceps on either side of the ears. Come down halfway only. And then press into the right foot and rise back up. Lots of core engagement as we do that. Now the arms come out to a T. Come halfway down again. Now lengthen your spine. Pull the right hip back. Pull the left hip forward. And then bring the hands down to the foot if you can. And then let your forehead come down towards the ankle or the top of the foot or the shin. This is pyramid pose. Now press into the right foot, bring the arms back out to a T and slowly rise all the way back up. Then bend the right knee and we've come back to warrior one. Bring the hands to heart center. Bring the weight into the right foot and pick the left foot up. Bring it forward. Let's find a yoga squat, malasana. So the toes point away. One another. Elbows to the inside of the knees. Huge hip opening pose. I don't suppose anyone needs their hips opened. Anybody been sitting for a while? Like the last year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a breath. Whew. Just settle into it. Let your tailbone come down. Now bring the hands to the mat. Press the palms into the mat. Lift the hips. And then heel toe the feet back about hip width apart and parallel to one another. Now bring the hands behind you. Interlace your fingers behind the back. Straighten the elbows, reach the knuckles towards the sky. Bring your weight into the front of the feet. And then slowly begin to rise. Press into the front of the feet as you come up. I feel that in the back of the legs and in my glutes. Then once you're up, pause, press the knuckles down. Feel the shoulder blades coming even closer together on your back. And then release your hands. And the heart center. Now leave the left foot forward, three quarter step back with the right foot into runners or sorry into warrior one. Toes on the left foot pointing straight forward. Toes on the right foot about 35 degrees or so. Now see if you can pull your right hip forward a little. Left foot back. That right knee is pointing straight or the left knee rather is pointing straight forward. Now bring the hands behind you, interlace them in the awkward way. Straighten the elbows if you can. Maybe some of you can bring the palms together so they touch. Now hinge at that left hip. Bring the left shoulder down. And let your head drop down. Reach the knuckles up and overhead. Two more breaths. One more. Now press in the left foot and slowly come back up. Release the hands, reach them high, and then straighten the left leg. Square the hips up. So pull that right hip forward, left foot or left hip back. Now hinge at the hips. Come halfway down. And then all the way back up. Now the arms to a T. Keep reaching through the hands as we come down halfway. And then bring both hands to the foot or the ankle. And then let your forehead come down towards the top of the foot or the ankle or the shin or the knee into pyramid pose. Now arms come back out to a T. Press in the left foot. That left knee is still straight as you rise. Reach the arms high and bend the left knee. Now step the right foot forward. Whoa. You know where we're going. In the knees, elbows to the inside of the knees. Malasana is the name of the pose. Mm. Take a breath. Whew. And two more. And one more. Mm. Bring the hands behind you and then come to a seat. And once you're seated, 
pick the uh, feet up into a half boat pose, reach the hands forward. Now kind of adjust your upper body until you find a place where there's minimum energy. Not no energy, there will be some. But you'll notice if you're back here, you're really engaged in the abdominal muscles. If you're up here, it's less. So find the place that's less to begin. And then kind of relax a little bit. Notice you don't need a lot of energy in the shoulders and the hands and the fingertips. You don't need a lot of energy in your feet. You need some energy in the legs and the hips, just holding the legs up, but not really that much. So see if you can find that soft, peaceful place in the pose. And then let's disrupt that by straightening the legs. Now, same process though. If you come down a little lower, it's going to deeply engage the abdominal muscles. If you lift up a little bit, it may be easier. One more breath. Good work, everybody. Release the heels to the mat. Reach the arms high and then fold forward over both legs. Deep seated forward fold. Now with your chin on your chest, round your spine as you come up, drawing the navel towards the spine. Then let your arms float high and then exhale and bring them down. Now bend the left knee and bring the sole of the left foot to the right thigh and then press that right heel down into the mat. That will lift up the uh, left side of your hip a little bit, left side of your butt a bit. And now hug that right knee in with the uh, Knee with the right hand, you know what I was talking about. And bring your left hand down behind you. Now before you twist, take a deep breath in and let your spine lengthen and then exhale into the twist. Let's come out of it again. Let's come out of it now. Now do that again. Inhale, lengthen and exhale into the twist. Now come out a little. Now inhale, lengthen, exhale, and twist. Ooh. And let it go. Let's come out of the pose. Bring both legs out. Press through the heels. Toes point up. Reach up high. Exhale and fold forward. Now inhale and rise back up. And exhale the arms to a T and then down. Now sole the right foot to the inside of the left thigh, or the outside rather, of the left thigh. I guess I'll turn around this side. See you guys over here. Press that right foot down. Hug the left knee in. Breathe in deeply. And then exhale into the twist, just like we did on the other side. Come out a little. Now breathe in deeply. Feel your spine get long as you do that, and then exhale into the twist. One more time. Deep breath in. And exhale into the twist and then let it go. Bring both legs out in front, press through the heels, toes point up, and fold forward. Bend the knees here a little if you like. Now chin on chest and round the spine as you rise. And now bring the soles of the feet together into cobbler pose. There's all kinds of winter stuff on the grass. Do you notice that? It's because they haven't been by picking it up with their lawn mowers. You can peel, pull your heels a little closer to your pubic bone. Now hinge at the hips and fold forward just a little bit, not too much. That'll probably bring a lot of sensation in the inside of the legs. Now lengthen the spine, just like we did in Marichi Asana a minute ago. Lengthen the spine and then exhale and fold a little bit more, hinging at the hips. Try not to round at the belly. Now come out a little, lengthen, exhale, hinge at the hips, folding forward. Come out a little bit, inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale and fold forward. Now chin on chest, round the spine. Let's pick the feet up and Cup the hands on the outside of the feet.
And if you fall over on your mat, know that you don't have very far to go. So that's the good part. Now, can you lengthen your spine again? And maybe pull the shoulders back. So our tendency in this pose is to do this and kind of collapse into it, bring your chin towards your chest. What I want to do is the opposite of that. I want chin to be nice and level, spine nice and long. In honor of spring, butterfly pose. Arms come under the legs. Palms to the top of the feet if you can. Press the elbows into the inside of the knee, or the, yeah. The now pull your feet back and then behind your neck. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's release all the way down. Bring your feet to the mat. Feet about hip apart. Bring your arms out in front and then flip the palms so they face up. Draw your navel in and then very slowly come down to your back. I want to take maybe six, seven, eight breaths to come down and concentrate on your spine and each of the individual vertebrae. Each one touching the mat. Eventually, you come all the way down to your back. And then once you're there, legs up the wall pose. Reach the heels to the sky, the palms face down, arms are long and by your side. Now happy pose. Bend the knees, bring the hands to the pinky toe side of the feet, and see if you can Bring your, the soles of the feet so they are parallel with the sky above us. Relax the back of your head. Relax the back of the shoulders. Now bring the left hand to the right foot so both hands are on the right foot. Hug that right knee into the right armpit. Now straighten the left leg, point the toes on the left foot. Keep the left legs long and slowly bring that left heel down towards the mat. And slow, this can create a big stretch. And maybe your heel touches, maybe it doesn't. Once you get to that maximum stretch, then pick the left leg up slowly, let it come all the way back up. And then back to happy baby pose. Left hand comes to left foot, right hand on. And let's go to the other side. Right hand to left foot, left hand stays on left foot. Hug the left knee in towards the armpit. Point the toes on the right foot, the right leg is straight. Slowly bring the right heel down towards the mat. Keep hugging that left armpit, or the left knee towards the left armpit. Once the heel lands, or once you've gone as far as you want, then lift that right heel back up. And happy baby pose. Now, can I invite you to relax in happy baby pose a little bit? So notice what muscles feel tight. And then just invite those muscles to relax a little. Just let it go. Breathe into that space. Release the hands from the feet. Reach the heels to the sky. Legs up the wall pose. And if you want to, plow pose can be next, bringing the feet up and overhead, touching them down on the grass or floor behind you or thereabouts. Or you can stay where you were in legs up the wall pose. It's all okay. If you're in legs up the wall pose, press your sacrum down and reach the feet up to the sky a little more, lengthening the lower body. If you're in plow, lift your hips up a little higher. You can support your low back in plow. 
Those in plow, if you want to move towards shoulder stand, bring the hands back to the low back, lift your feet up. If your feet are over your hips and your hips are over your shoulders, that would be the full version of shoulder stand. And if, you're, uh, bent, if your legs are bent at the hips, that would be a half or three quarter version. Those in shoulder stand, release back to plow. And then from there, back to legs up the wall. Wall meet in legs up the wall. Everyone press your tailbone down. Press the feet up high. Now bend your knees, bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Walk your feet back towards your butt and prepare for bridge pose. As you press your feet into the mat, your hips will come up. Let that happen. Then draw the shoulder blades together under your back so that the shoulder blades are coming closer together. As you do that, you'll notice you can probably lift your hips a little higher, coming into a deeper back bend. If you like, you can interlace your fingers behind your back, maybe straightening the elbows. Two more breaths in bridge pose. And release. Bring the tailbone down. Once the tailbone lands, hug the knees in towards your chest. And if it feels good, you can bring your forehead towards your knees. If you want to rock forward and back, side to side a little bit, feel free to do that. And then come back to center, come back to stillness. Bring your arms out to a T, palms face down. Press the palms into the grass or the floor. Now let your knees float to the left. Press both knees away from the right hand and reach the right hand away from the knees. Just creating a little bit of tension. And then exhale and release the tension that you created. And let yourself settle into the supine twist. Now come back to the sensations that you're experiencing the sensations that are external to your body. So notice the sounds, the warmth and the coolness. Notice the smells. Then let your knees float back to center and to the right side and the gaze will shift to your left. Press the knees away from the left hand. Reach the left hand away from the knees. Take a deep breath. And then exhale and let that tension that you just created go. And now begin to notice sensations. Touch. Taste. Smell. Hearing. Let your knees come back to center now. And bring your arms down by your side. It's time for Shavasana. Let's go ahead and prepare for Shavasana. If you need to put on uh, clothing that you peeled off during our practice, feel free to do that. And then once you've made yourself ready for Shavasana, Let your eyes close down and begin to settle into your mat. For those of you who are here live, maybe bring your awareness to the earth beneath your mat. Realize that in this season, 
the earth is beginning its cycle of warming, coming out of the hibernation of winter, as it prepares for a new round of spring. When things will begin to grow. Feel into the earth around you. Now become aware of your breath. Feel the breath. Notice how it flows in and how it flows out. Notice how your breath is connected to the earth. Allow that connection to deepen. And now let it all go. Draw a deep breath in and then open mouth, exhale, let it go. Do that again deeper and open your mouth this time to exhale. <sighs> Bend your knees, roll to your side, pause for a moment once you find your side. Then bring yourself to a seat. Once you're seated, the eyes can remain closed down. Bring your hands to heart center and press your palms together lightly. Join me, if you like, in offering loving kindness. May you be happy and well, and may you be safe. May you be peaceful, and may you be at ease. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining us for, the, for our inaugural, inaugural version of the Denver Yoga Club outdoors. Thank you. Yeah, it's really great. Great to see you all. Everybody take care and stay safe.